Hello, everybody. My name is Andrea with Dental L. I tutor dental hygiene and dental assisting students past the board exam, but also if you're still in school and just simply need help. So I'm going to talk to you guys about very efficient ways to study note taking, how to make your lives as students so much easier because I've been there, done that. I know how hard it can be. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to share my screen and show you guys a number of things to make your lives easier. So let me just jump right in because if you're watching me, you probably should be studying right now. But if you're not, that means you're taking a break, which is even better. But I don't want to take too much of your time. So there is something called the study um, bunny study bunny so it is a super cute app that you can download here's just some examples for you that sets um timers you can set um your study schedule and if you follow that schedule and follow those timers that you set for yourself you can feed the bunny carrots give the bunny certain things the bunny's happy but if you don't do those things if you don't follow along with the schedule you create then the bunny gets sad and that's not good so this is just a, a super fun way to keep motivated and be super productive while you are studying the next thing i love this is uh, uh, cheatography, cheatography. So this is something where you can get cheat sheets. I just did a quick search where I typed in dental and look at these that came up. Let's say you are studying for anatomy. I'm gonna type in anatomy head and neck because that is something as dental hygiene students and dental assisting students you have to study for. Oh, it didn't find anything. So maybe I'm not supposed to be as specific. Let me just type in anatomy and then I bet all of the, the cheat sheets are down below. Yes, so this makes more sense. So look you guys, and it even has the very basics of anatomy talking about the intro, talking about the, um, the human organism. You just have to click and then it pops up. How fantastic is this? Amazing study tools at your fingertips. I have a ton of ads right now. I apologize, but look at this, you guys, fantastic. I wish I had this when I was a student. Another thing is Canva. You do not have to pay for Canva. Just get the one that you don't have to pay for. I probably had the free one for years. Now I have the pro one just simply because I, I use it multiple times a day for my own business, but you can get the free one. This is amazing to help to make your PowerPoints more exciting. Let's say you like to create PowerPoints, um, templates to really aid in your, your studying, note-taking, you want to take nicer notes. This can be a great way to do that. Again, you guys, for free. But a word of caution is this is so much fun that you could spend hours just picking the right image, the right this, the right that. So be careful, okay? But definitely check it out if this is something you might be interested in. I've heard of this one. This is called Anki. You can make your own intelligent um, uh, flashcards. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to go off. So what student doesn't want to make their own? So this is an app you can download. Again, I was hoping it was going to show you guys in, in, in action. It's not doing that. But if this is something you would be interested in, I definitely suggest checking it out. Notion. This is something I wish I had when I was a student. It's basically your own calendar, your own notebook, your own agenda in one place guess what? It's free. So this is a great way of looking at it. You can put in your anatomy class, your oral pathology class. You can put in when you have tests, exams. You can put in your marks for anatomy class. You could put in when your exams are coming up. You can put in notes. Definitely check this out. This is something that is so popular right now, and it's a lot of fun to get everything set up. Just have a look. You don't have to pay for it. So if you're the type of person, which most people are, you need to see things on the computer to say, okay, when is my next anatomy exam? What marks have I had in anatomy? You can do it all right here and make it look nice. I don't know about you, but I can just write something on a piece of paper. I can just write something in a plain old template on the computer. But if it doesn't look pretty, I'm like, I don't even want to look at it. If it looks pretty, I keep coming back to it. Maybe that's just me, but it just makes me feel better. So definitely check this out. 
Now this, I hate to sound like a broken record, another thing I wish I had when I was a student. So you can type in all of your different assignments, exams, projects, tests, what mark you have on that and what percentage that particular class is, or sorry, that particular class or exam is worth for that class. Oh my goodness, there were so many times when I was in school that sure, I would get 90% on one test, but then like 60% on another. Well, do I really have to study really hard for that exam or can I maybe ease off a little bit and study harder for other ones? This will really help you guys definitely check it out. I will leave the link for you down below. So definitely have a look. Another one that people were talking about, kind of a lifestyle app here to look at like different study tools, products, all of that. I haven't looked into this too much yet, but if you're just curious to see what's out there, um, again, I was hoping it would show you guys in real time, but it's not really doing that. So I kind of want to say, forget about this one. If I was editing my videos, which I don't have time for that yet, I would just edit this part out. So you know what guys, never mind about this one. Ha ha, laugh a little bit, let's move on. Google Calendar. I use Google Calendar. In fact, I'm going to pull up mine right now. I'm going to hold it away from the screen a little bit, but I want to show you guys all the pretty colors that I have. See, can you guys see? I And this is looking at it by day. You can look at it by month, all of that. Okay. Lots of fun there. Definitely check it out. This will help you organize your class schedule when you have an exam coming up, when you have tests coming up, when you have notes you want to take, if you just quickly want to put in there, I need to pick up milk on the way home, you can set a reminder. Guess what? It's free. It kind of works with your, you know, email, cell phone, tablet, whatever you have. I love Google Calendar. Check it out right now. But again, a word of caution. It's very easy to get suckered into it and spend like hours making pretty colors, putting in everything. Do a little bit at a time, focus day by day, but you are truly going to love this. I use Google Calendar for everything, for my personal when I'm booking patients, um, tutoring classes, I use it for everything. Last but not least, this is amazing. For those of you who like to listen to some very calming music while you're trying to study, or maybe you just need some noise in the background, this is something that you also do not have to pay for. If you like to listen to the rain, you can do that. If you, if you want coffee shop noises while you're you know, studying, but your home, you can do that. This is fantastic. Another app to download. Okay. So just a quick recap for you. This one here is just something fun that helps to keep you on track for your studying. Set a timer for 20 minutes study anatomy. If you do that, you were successful. You can feed the bunny carrots, do other things. And then the bunny's happy. Yay. If you're the type of person who's competitive and you want to feed the bunny, you want the bunny to succeed, there you go. Um, <laughs> this one here, you can find lots of things to study. Type in something like anatomy. All of these come up, click on it, easy copy paste, something to study. I love this. I wish I had this when I was a student. Canva is for just simply making your PowerPoints or notes more exciting, more pretty. You can add templates, your own images, all of that. Um, this is used to study. Um, where's the main page? I'm looking for the cards if you need your, your own cards. So like questions, answers, it is called Anki. Sorry, guys, I don't know what I did. I don't know where the main page is, but check it out. Notion is one way to really keep everything together. Tasks, calendars, management, exam, tests, everything. Definitely check it out. This is to now check out. Let's say you had 80% in one test, 40% in another test. Well, does it really matter? What percentage do I have to worry about? Check that out. Google Calendar, I use for everything. If you want a calendar, keep all of your tests, exams, classes in, in line. I kind of feel like you might use either Google, um, Google Calendar or Notion. 
I prefer um, um, Google Calendar myself, but for Notion, you can do more with it. So it just depends on what you prefer. Last but not, not least, if you like to listen to background noise, this one's perfect. Listen to, you know, storms, the rain, a coffee shop. Here you go. Thank you guys for watching. Click like to this video. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. Are there certain study, you know, um, tools, note taking apps online that you use and that have helped you in your school journey? Let me know because you can help other students too. Comment below, click like for everything that I mentioned in the video, you will see that in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested, which I have not mentioned yet, my um, board exam prep academy full course is now open where I teach you in modules, in lectures, mock exams, case studies, everything you have to know for the board exam. So I make your studying even easier than all of these apps and things that I just talked to you about that can all be included as well. So thank you guys for watching. It was so nice to talk to you and see you guys in the next video.